Hello YouTubers, this is Champion DJK coming at you yet again with another 2015 Hot Wheels detailed casting review. And today we're going to do number 223, the McLaren P1. And here it is. And this car is pretty cool. It is in the Hot Wheels Workshop, Hot Wheels Garage. It is a new model for 2015, so it's got the description on there. Uh, it's an F1 technology meets hybrid power in this very limited production plug-in hybrid sports car. It's got a 3.8 liter twin turbocharged V8 combined with a powerful electric motor. With both motors, the McLaren P1 boosts the total power and torque output of over 900 brake horsepower and 722 pounds. Pretty cool. Let's take it out. So it's kind of a similar color to the Mustang Boss that was released. Uh, at least the Boss, the Boss Super Treasure Hunt's kind of a similar color. Um, but you do get kind of a burnt orange color with gray rims. Um, tampo scheme wise, we have nothing really on the side or top. We get uh, some headlights. And actually this black right here in the rear um, above where the plastic base ends is actually a tampo as well. So kind of neat. Um, gray rims. Pretty cool. And oh, and actually, one other thing to mention this is all plastic right up here. And the little inserts is actually part of the uh, interior. And this is plastic in the little cutout area on both sides of the vehicle right here. Um, so, of course. The vehicle is based on the McLaren P1, which here it is in pretty much the same color that they released it in. Um, really neat. Hot Wheels, I think, did a great job, or Mattel did a great job on the scale of the vehicle and making it look like the real deal. So it's pretty cool that it looks real. Um, the P1, if you don't know, is the successor to the McLaren F1 which there's a picture of the F1. Um, this, this version of it, it's a British hybrid supercar. They sold 375 units for an average price of $1.6 million. Yeah, I, I didn't really get a chance to order one, unfortunately. All 375, you know, sold out before I was able to afford $1.6 million. Um, but anyway, not all are built and delivered to customers yet. Um, they're still finishing up the 375 units. Um, it's got mid-engine, rear drive. As it says on the back of the car, there's a 3.8 liter twin turbo V8 engine that's capable of producing a 727 brake horsepower. And then they do have that electric motor in there. Um, and that de delivers an extra 176 brake horsepower for a total of roughly 903 horsepower. So nearly 1,000 horsepower in the vehicle. It does 0 to 60 in under 3 seconds. So pretty freaking fast. Uh, its top speed is actually electronically limited to 217 miles an hour. So I don't know how fast it could really go if they took that limitation off of there, but apparently 217 is the safety limit for it. Um, really, really neat car. Uh, <clears throat> casting history-wise, of course, there is none. It's uh, a new model for 2013 or 2015. Um, one other thing I did also want to mention was the back tampo on the vehicle. As you can see, the wing is up on this. Get it to focus on the car here. This wing is actually retractable. And we got it cast in the wing up position. And that's what it looks like here. As you can see, the wing actually comes out of the body and raises up almost about a foot off of the car. And that does that electronically. It's automatically done. It's not something that you set. Um, so here's it with the wing closed. So, wing up, wing closed. Kind of neat. Um, so, yeah, anyway, yeah, no casting history on this one. New model for 2015. And, as always, we are going to rate it on a scale of one to three stars. One being I do not like it. Two being it's okay. And three being I like it. 
Um, this one gets a resounding three stars from me, and I think it will from pretty much anybody else who collects Hot Wheels. It's an awesome looking casting. It's a very awesome car. It being such a limited production vehicle that is so out of the reach of almost anyone to ever own kind of makes it perfect for Hot Wheels. That's what Hot Wheels kind of is all about. So owning the cars, little miniature versions of vehicles that, you know, we probably won't ever be able to afford, which is not a big deal. But anyway, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.